Hello and welcome to Steve's Monumental Adventure and today we're going to be reviewing this power station which is the Growat 550 Vita. It's brand new to the UK market and we're going to see exactly how many tech items we can power with this power station. So this power station here is made by Growat. Now you might know Growat from the inverters, all sorts of different bits and pieces, and they've also got two other um, generators which are just slightly above each other. I think one of them is a 1300 and another is a 1500, but still great products. But this one here has been designed for the UK market, so you can actually see we've got the UK plugs there. Um, and all of the other little bits and pieces. So the Vita 500 is 600 watt and that gives uh, around about 538 watt hours. And it has various USBs here. So we have a USB, we have two USB A's, one USB C, one fast charge. And on the top here, which a lot of them don't come with, it actually does have a wireless charger there for your um, for your phone um, not every phone because some phones have the um, wireless charging sort of built into it and it won't work if you haven't got wireless charging but actually it's a great little little unit so let's sort of talk about um, its its weight well it's about 816 kilograms so it's not that heavy um, dimensions roughly I'd say 12, it, it, and the manufacturer say it's 12.2 by 8.4 by 7.8 uh, inches. So it's a, it's a well-equipped piece of equipment. Now, to actually activate it or, or work, it's all, we, all we're doing is we're turning on the front screen here. You can see I've got 93% um, battery, battery left there. We've also got the two um, 230 volt um, plug-ins there, a cigarette lighter, socket there and obviously as we discussed the uh, Bluetooth. Here we have the 230 um, plug-in sockets here um, as we discussed the um, USB setup so you can actually um, go between AC and DC by literally a click of a button like that. There you go, simple as that, it's as simple as changing it over. Okay, also it's got a built in light there, nice LED light, nice little feature on it. Um, got the flashing, so you've got a lot going on. Um, you've also got the, uh, the attachments on the side there for the solar panel as well, which, uh, which comes with it. So it's, it, it would, does work with a solar panel and it's got a 2.5 hour solar charge time. Um, obviously that is different depending on what um, what the sunshine is like. What I want to do today is test this with various items of technology that the average person or the average YouTuber would use. Um, and you can see I've got an array of different bits and pieces here, um, all ready to do the test. So what we're going to do first is we are going to put the camera onto the mount now so we can get a good idea of what's going on on the screen. So now let's get on with the test with this tech. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my phone and it's already in the fast charging port and there we go straight away it says I've got um, around about 98% now but it says it's charging all's good. Our next thing we're going to do is the drone. Okay, so this is a Mavic Mini. This is a Mavic Mini um, 3 Pro drone. Okay, you know the charging points there. It's a USB-C. So I'm just going to plug that into there. And straight away you can see it's fully charged already. I like to keep my stuff fully charged. But that's not going to be a major problem. So with that, what that's going to give us, with the drone, that's going to give us seven charges of the drone, okay? That's not too bad at all, is it, okay? The next thing we've got is the charger pack for the Flymall Combo. Um, this here, this can be plugged in, okay? And 
there you go that's charged already ready to go okay so it works on that you can see now it's charging that third battery okay so that will be that that's that, that's really good for that now we've also got the screen the screen that comes with the um number the mavic mini 3 here you can see this screen here we just need to plug that in again you can see fully charged now it activates it for um for for ready to use the next thing we're going to do is this here this is the osmo action camera okay again that's usb c as well and you can see that straight away the red lights on it's stated that it's charging okay so it will charge cameras you'll mostly get about 45 charges out of one of these um, power banks okay so the next thing we'll uh, we will look at is the batteries this is the battery pack for the um, Osmo pocket and the Osmo action okay and as I put that in there you can see there it's charging up the one battery already so it can charge those up to 45 times okay next item we're going to look at is one of these this is just a normal standard power bank really that you maybe you want to sling in your bag um, all I need to do is pop that into the USB the USB area of that there you go so that is now full at charging up there you can just see the line there that is charging up okay so there's another device that we've managed to uh, do okay the next one is wireless headphones look um, we need to just change what we're doing with that so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the charger because it's a slightly slightly different usb okay and what we're going to do with that is we will find the charging port these are new headphones so i'm not actually sure where they are um they are there look there you go okay You're always a bit fiddly putting these in isn't it there we go okay there we go it's lit up you can see the uh, charging light there look you can see the charging light there so that is charging those up as well so there we go all of these devices are now racking up aren't they of what we can do so now we've got a samsung galaxy tablet okay can we charge that up yep there it is it's just started coming on it's dead but it is charging up that tablet so that's really good so again tablets are like phones i suppose you're going to get about 76 charges out of, out of a tablet so that's really good and also we've got this here this is a torch okay a works a work zone torch um we can we can undo the end it's got a, a usb rechargeable torch and they see we're, we're charging there as well so god the it is endless what this thing can do okay so the torch is here now what we've got is a, we've got these here which are fans okay little desk fans okay little desk fans so can we operate the desk fan okay there it is okay these are off amazon okay oh yeah we need it this time of year there it is there it is the fans working um so we've no bother with that at all so there's another device we have connected and all these are very low wattage these are okay um as we move on we're now coming up to this big device here now what we're going to start doing now is we are going to start looking at uh, the um the 230 volt um adapters here every youtuber needs some light so what we've got at the back here in the way of the fan is the lighting so we're just going to unplug that and plug that usb light in okay and we can turn it on there we go there we go so now we've got light in there that will power that as well um and that's giving us 13 watts there on that output there um so that usb is 13 watts so what it also does is gives you the output details of how much it is actually uh what sort of current it's pulling so our next thing we're going to look at is here 
Okay, so we, what we're going to do first is we're going to switch over from DC to AC, meaning we're going to start using the plugs. Now, you're more than likely going to start getting the fan then. Okay, so what we will do now um, is we will, first of all, we will plug in. This is an e-bike battery, okay? Now, handy if you're away and you've got your e-bike with you and you want to charge it up, this is perfect for it, okay? So I'm just plugging that in now, okay? And it is, we can have a look here. As you can see, the light is on, meaning it's charged or charging. We've got a full battery. We've got a full battery there as well. So that's really good. So we can charge, you can charge your e-bike up. How good's that? Okay, there's another device in the bag that you can actually do. So the other one is that we've got these these fans which are mains mains operated, okay. But we've got a big light first, so we've got a big tall light as you can see. Can you see it there? That's our big tall light. So can we power that? So let's plug the big tall lamp in. Okay, we're just going to switch it on down here. Okay, and yes, we do. There we go. We have the big lamp working. Okay, that's powered by this. It's only pulling 12 watts. Look, out of that on the on the output. So that's really good, isn't it? 12 watts. It's pulling. So we're good there. Okay. So what we can do now is we've got a fan. So this fan here, this one you can see here. This fan, let's just see what, if we can plug that in at the same time and will that work, okay? Okay. Oh, they're both working together, look. So there you go. Now we're pulling 34 watts. Now, bearing in mind, this thing, um, this thing can can draw 600 watts. Um, and that's, that, that's pretty good. So you can overload it completely if you wanted to. So we've also got a big sort of tower fan here. Look, see it? The big tower fan. So let's unplug one of these. Let's unplug the lamp. Okay. Let's unplug the lamp. And then let's plug the tower fan in. Okay. So there's our plug for our tower fan. And tower fan is on. Now we are on full pelt. You might get a bit of wind noise here. We're on full pelt. Pulling 67 watts out of that. So that's good. We're not I'm more than happy with that. Okay, so this can handle quite a bit, can't it? So the question now is, we've got a laptop here. Let's plug the laptop in. Let's see what the laptop can do, okay? So let's plug this in. We will open the laptop up, okay? And we're just putting the laptop on, okay? And let's have a look okay 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 so we just want to uh see down here there you go we can see we're literally charged up down there look you can see it's charging on the laptop so in actual fact if i unplug that let's see what the laptop's pulling in okay there we go we're, we're stabilized at about 30 watts okay so on a laptop on a laptop you could probably operate the laptop around about nine hours so look at these devices that we've got here let's have a rundown of what we've got we have a phone can be charged 76 times okay a camera can be charged 45 times a laptop nine hours okay nine hours so that's not too bad is it at all but don't forget the drone can actually go for seven charges you can have a CPAC machine. I haven't got one, but you could have one and you could run a CPAC machine for seven hours. You could run a lamp at 100 watts for 1.5 hours. It depends on what kind of bulb it is really, doesn't it? You could maybe run a projector for 1.5 hours, a fridge for 1.8 hours and a grill 0.7 hours, a 600 watt grill. But don't forget, that's right at the end of the scale here. So this little... This little device here is more than capable of um, of looking after your portable power station needs. And as I say, you can plug it into the wall mains to charge it up or you can charge it by solar panel. So all of this technology can be operated 
by this it makes it a really decent compact pack package um, which is absolutely perfect for your camping needs anything to do with camper vans anything like that it will be able to you know look after most of your technology now another great thing about the grow what is this solar panel here this solar panel will charge this on a nice sunny day in around about 2.5 hours the sun is starting to come out a bit now now they're connected by these two cables they you cannot get them wrong you cannot get them wrong the good thing about the Vita 550 from GrowWatt is you can purchase separately the solar panels here. So now we've got a kind of a bit of a dull day. So we are pulling 45 watts. Even on a dull day, it's still pulling in the watts there to make it happen. But that comes here. So there's another way of charging it is by the mains lead, which is there. But also there is a cigarette lighter um, for the accessory socket that can also be charged that way so it's actually a great um way of um charging the unit up hi guys thank you for watching the review of the grow what 550 vita don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll join you for another video very soon